The following list can go on and on, but some of the items are nice to have, but these are my items gathered over years and years. Goes without saying, cleanliness and sanita sanitation is most important, so I'll start here. Using cleaner of your choice, I use VWP in Chem Clean. For sanitizing Chem San, which is a self forming sanitizer. But no Pacific order, a Earl Meyer flask, I choose a 300ml one. Magnetic stir bar, used, used in the flash and the stir plate, produce a vortex, all will become apparent later on. Yeast story or liquid yeast. DME. Dry malt extract. I was going to try LME, which is liquid malt extract, but for me, DME, I can buy a 500 gram and then vacuum seal 100 gram packets. A Kegland stir plate called a super compact water whipper. Aluminium tin foil to, st to seal the, f the flask top, a decent funnel, and to help cool wort, I use a bath with uh, ice blocks and ice cubes. I use my instant pot pressure cooker to clean utensils, and as I said, the list can go on and on. Basically, in layman's terms, not to waffle too much, idea is to boil a tiny brew in a pan or flask, cool it down for pitching yeast temperature, add liquid yeast or yeast slurry in the flask, add the stir plate, switch on the stir plate and say in a vortex. Then a mini fermentation happens over the days. So let's get busy and I'll catch you all later. 